Hey Jammers, Snowy Claw here. Now before we get into the main video, I wanted to share a fun up and coming Animal Jam community. This little promotion is sponsored by the Amino Apps, which is the company that hosts the community, but I wouldn't be sharing it with you guys unless I really enjoyed it myself. Once you log in, you can create your very own profile. You can see mine here. Well, there's a lot of YouTubers on the app. You can tell they're the real deal by seeing the little verified bar next to their name, and AJHQ even has a profile. These are the possum creators of the community, and you should follow them as well, because they're real cool kids. I really like the public chats feature, and I actually just created a chat with Snowy little chat in case you guys want to come and visit with me when I'm online. I try to log on every day, so you guys should come stop by and tell me what you think of the community. Now on to the main video. Now I know what you guys are going to say. Hey Snowy, stop with this clickbait thing. I don't think this one's clickbait. I think this is an objective fact because this masterpiece museum is pretty darn big and I don't know if there's a bigger one out in Jama, so you guys are gonna have to tell me. The first step to finding this museum is to head over to my Hogwarts den, which I'm sure has many Hogwarts students wondering about. Oh my, here come the students! Now to enter the museum, all you have to do is click on this portal here and you'll be transported to the first room. Ta-da! We have some great artists throughout this museum, including YouTubers with their obsessions about shoes, as well as fun Undertale references. And once you're done looking at that particular room of the museum, you can head to the next portal. And now we're in the second exhibit! There's even a little wee bear bears, that's pretty cute. There's some really cool mimic artists that do the Animal Jam style, as well as realistic artists. Foxes are so cute, oh my goodness. In most of the exhibits, you can also find Pex Easel, so you can start your own artwork as well, and you can submit artwork to the museum to be put up in the next exhibit. There's some Clone Wars, and this adorable piece by Dark Dog, and this really snazzy hyena by Shadow Charm. Charizard, and so many pieces, and the museum just keeps on going. You can friend any of these museum accounts that I have, and I come online every so often so you can come find me in my museum dens. If you go to the very last exhibit, that is the most recent exhibit account that I've made, and that's the one I log on to the most, so there's some incentive to find the very end. All these exhibits are stuffed full of all the jammer art that is sent to me. I put almost all of it up in the museums. That one's pretty cool. The ocean piece, very nice. And then we go to the next exhibit. It goes on and on and on. There's, ooh, there's a snow leopard. And, and, ooh, a spooky wolf. And, and, and ladybugs. So many ladybugs. This one has a lot of panda pieces. They're very cute. Ooh, one by Scotty, and one by Oscar Baby, and this really cool elf piece. And I seem to have accidentally set some of the dens to different languages, but that just makes it even more exciting. Ooh, this one seems to be in Portuguese. That's pretty cool. Aw, a tiger cub. It's so precious. And this cool Hamilton reference, because I'm a Hamilton fangirl. And a parrot dot fox. Space Dorito! <laughs> so cute! Here we have a beautiful tangled piece by E. Holly Blossom and a cute little Liza. Many different styles. Ooh, and this one even has a wizard reference. Very nice. And over here you can find a warrior's piece. And I even have some of my artwork in here. Now we've reached the end of the line. This is the most recent art museum. There's some pretty cool pieces in here already. By Moonscaled, and there's this really spooky skull that I like, sent to me by Glitter Moon. Very cool stuff. There's also this really spooky Shrek over here. I'm not really sure what to think about that one. It kind of scares me. As you can see, there's still some spaces left. If you like, you can submit artwork to me whenever my inbox is open and I'll add it to the museum collection. It just keeps getting bigger, so feel free to just follow the portals till the end. Now, if you guys can find a museum bigger than this in Jama, I will change the title of this video 
but I think this one might be the biggest thus far. And let me know if you guys have your own art museum. I would love to visit sometime. I'll be jamming everyone and hope to see you in Jamal. Thank you.